Hi, I'm Mark Silver. Today we're going to talk about what can you do with GPS data if your job is really big. Now, the traditional problem is, is if you have a big job and on this job that I've got displayed on my screen, I've got a um, six mile by six mile township. I've marked the corners of each section and I've got one opus solution up here by the highway. Um, I've summarized this data in a spreadsheet and um, for each of the points I've got the combined scale factor and then the footage per mile difference between grid and ground. And um, I've summarized down here at the bottom you'll see the average distance is 1.3 feet but the maximum is 1.6 and the minimum is 1.1. No matter what scale factor I choose for this job, I'm going to be off about three tenths per foot someplace. So what I'd like to do is pick a scale factor that works everywhere with no distortion. Of course, I can't do that. Um, but there is a solution if you're using Carlson's survey. I'll show you how it works. Let's uh, start a new job. We're in Utah North, State Plain, um, set a horizontal scale of 1500, and we'll make a new name of um, Dynamic Scale Factor 1. Let's see, we've got a scale, we've got a card file, we're going to import a text file. Click Next, and let's select the text file. Okay, I've got point ID, and then northing, easting, elevation. Uh, there are no descriptions. Um, we're going to import all of the points. We'll draw them separately, and we're going to store the, them to the current coordinate file. Click on OK. We've got 55 points. So there are my points. Now, I'm going to draw in a couple lines. The first thing I want to do is this survey was originally laid out with the east line of the township aligned with Cardinal North. So let's go in, click on this line, find out what the bearing is. Um, we'll go to setting, drawing setup. What I want to do is I want to rotate these grid coordinates so that the annotations are aligned with true north. So let's see, this is northwest, so I need to move northeast. That'll be one degree, zero minutes, seven seconds. And if I re-annotate, great. So now I've aligned the east side of my township with Cardinal North. I'm going to just put a couple more polylines in here. And a long diagonal here. So you'll notice that when I annotate this line now, I get the distance at grid. That's not going to do me much good though because I need a ground distance. I could use a scale factor and we can set scale factors, settings, drawing set up. We can come in here and pick a fixed scale factor. If we click the set button, calculate combined factor, Utah North now, the opus report that I have is not geoid 12b, it's actually geoid 03. So I'm going to use geoid 03 so that my conversions will all match the opus solution. Let me show you that. You'll see here I've got NAD 83 cores 96 with a GEOID 03 difference. So we'll honor that old opus report for this job. GEOID 03, U.S. Survey feet. We want to calculate a grid to ground scale factor. I'll click on OK. You'll see it calculates an average scale factor. Now sure enough, that scale factor is the same scale factor that I calculated by picking average of all 50 points. 
if I choose that scale factor and we'll go to annotate annotate defaults distance and we're going to label the first and second and we're going to put feet grid on the grid distance and then feet ground on the ground distance we're also going to put brackets around the ground distance and I'm going to display the scale factor that's used on the line we'll click on OK and we will reannotate this still have a cardinal bearing and you'll notice that our distance is uh, 32 22 33 grid and 41 ground with the scale factor that we calculated now that scale factor is the average scale factor for the entire township but it's no good it's going to result in about three tenths difference on many of the areas I mean there might be some section in here that's fairly well satisfied by an average but in general it's not going to work out so let's go in and choose settings drawing setup come down here and let's pick a dynamic grid to ground scale factor so every time we annotate a polyline in here we are going to get let's do this one a new scale factor show you on this long one here we've got 259 we've got 213 over here you know we come on here and it's You'll see uh, 46, 47, scale factor 2656, 263. Now, each one of these vectors, each one of these boundary lines, has a custom scale factor. The advantage of doing it this way is all of the ground distances are correct. If you think about the grid coordinates that you were using uh, with modern GPS uh, in the Utah Reference Network or with a base on a job this size, I expect all of the horizontal values to be within two or three hundred. By using a fixed scale factor, I'm introducing a couple tenths error on some of these vectors that's not going to work a couple tenths per mile that's going to introduce needless air into my boundaries what I really want to report is the true measured ground distance and in this case with dynamic scale factors that's what we get it would be really nice to make a table put on my drawing here that lists all of the points and their scale factors we do that quite easily. We go to the points menu and then list points. Um, the important box to check here is use report formatter and include geodetic report. You want to click on geodetic options, make sure the state plane zone is set correctly, and choose the right geoid. Click on OK. Um, I pick all the points on OK again. Now I've already set up a format. I'm going to have the point ID, the latitude, degrees, minutes, seconds, longitude, ellipsoid elevation, the geoid difference, the convergence for each of the points, and then the state plane, northing, easting elevation. This will be the orthometric elevation. And then I'm going to display just for fun the grid scale, the elevation factor, and then the combined scale factor. So We'll click on table entry, click on exit. We're prompted where to put our table, and we're prompted for some formatting options. Click on OK, and you'll see here is our table. So let's compare our table with our Opus report. Point number 100 is this same point that's on the Opus report. We'll check the uh, latitude we've got 42557 42557 14598 14598 and an ellipsoid height of 4917057 it's off a thousandth the geoid difference uh, it's off a thousandth let's 
check our convergence. Zero degrees, 32 minutes, 19.2 seconds. Dead on. I'm assuming that our uh, state plane, northing and easting, and orth orthometric heights are correct. 814, 814. The point scale, dead on. And the combined factor, 9997688. Eight two, um, eight one. Certainly, that's within rounding error. So, to summarize, what's happened here is by using a dynamic scale factor on our drawing, we get to make our drawing in grid coordinates. All the points have their original GPS grid coordinates, and then we're using an individual scale factor for every polyline that we inscribe on the drawing. That means that the scale factor for that line is exactly correct. So this is the way that you handle large jobs or jobs with um, large differences in elevation from one side or one part of the job. This method allows you to use the right scale factor for every boundary line on your drawing. Thank you very much.